Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's my follow-up video about Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1. In today's video, I will show you more hidden features, I will talk about my experience with the performance and battery, and finally, I will show you all the bugs I spotted after using this build for a couple of days, so without further ado, let's jump in. I will start with the sound effects which are totally different after installing this build. I personally prefer the previous ones, but let's take a listen and compare it with what we used to have. As you heard, everything sounds differently, so let me know in the comments which ones you like more. The second change is related to the volume slider. As you see here, I'm playing media, and when I try to increase the volume, I have this new animated waveform. Moving to the quick settings and notifications shade, on the left, I have Android 16 Beta 4.1. And the first thing we'll notice here is the notifications shade is no longer using outlined icons, and you can take Instagram as an example. You see here, it's using the actual app icon, while here, the icon is different. The second change is related to the media controls. When I turn on dark theme, you will notice this new shadow that makes it totally isolated from the background, but you won't see the same effect in light theme. So this is light theme, it looks flat, but when I turn on dark theme, you see here, it has a very obvious shadow. The third change, when you expand the quick settings and use any of the smaller tiles that doesn't have a title, like the flashlight, for example, you will see here that the task manager pill at the bottom reflects the name briefly and then disappears. And here's how it works. But once you use any of the bigger tiles like the screen recorder, the Wi-Fi hotspot and so on, it doesn't do anything. The fourth change is spotted by Mesha Rahman as per Android Authority. This is what we used to have as a dual SIM signal indicators, but now we got a brand new design that stacks both signal bars on top of each other like this, and this is how it looks if the Wi-Fi is deactivated. Moving to the styling, I started to see even more differences when it comes to the wallpaper colors, even though I'm using the exact wallpaper, but you'll see here that the default option is using pink as a secondary color instead of green, and when you keep scrolling, you will see sometimes that the primary color here is the secondary color here, so the system is actually combining things in a totally different way and you will notice the difference even more when you go to things like the settings you will see here that the background and cards on the screen are using totally different color combinations when compared to the previous version same as the system wide search before jumping to the next chapter let me tell you that i added 15 new wallpapers inspired by material U to the wallpapers by in-depth thick reviews app and this is one of the examples i think they work really well with the new design language of android 16 so let me show you the full collection you will see here 15 wallpapers inspired by material U. and if you still don't like this design I added even more wallpapers that will make your phone look really nice. So you'll find Google Play Store download link in the description if you are interested. And now let's get back to the video. Now let me show you some new changes related to the battery. And the first one is in battery saver. You will see here this new plus sign next to the icon and it turns into yellow. For reference, here is how the battery icon looks when I turn on the battery saver mode on beta 4.1 so it looks dramatically different plus the battery saver mode turns off the blur effect entirely now i have a solid background in the quick settings same as the notifications the app drawer and the recent apps screen so suddenly it looks like android 15 once i turn off the switch now the blur effect is back everywhere and you can see it over here and here is how the battery icon looks once your phone reaches 20 percent or less which is something i didn't show you in my previous video now let me show you some new changes under settings the first one is under network and the internet internet and when you try to connect to a new wi-fi network you get this scan password chip that activates the camera to scan the text the second change is under system and then 
software updates and now we got the google play system update listed under the same page that also got a brand new look and when you tap on it and the check for updates you will see this new squiggly progress bar that take place when you check for update plus the button itself is much bigger now and when you go to system update you will also see the check for update button looks different and the app updates is exactly the same so that's it when it comes to the new features now let's talk about my experience with the performance and battery and i gotta say that the performance of this build is really really good i did multitask on the phone uh like making video calls and use the phone at the same time to do other things it didn't slow down it didn't overheat and it was running cooler than normal so i think the performance is very good and let me also show you my geekbench scores you won't see any massive difference here it's about the same uh, numbers i always get between 46 to 4400 so it doesn't reflect on the benchmark score but in reality i'm getting much better performance at least when compared to beta 4.1 moving to the battery i only tested it for one day and this day was exceptional so let me show you what happened i got six hours and seven minutes of screen on time with 10 percent battery remaining and the reason I'm saying this day is exceptional because if you look here, you will see that I used Waze for 2 hours and 18 minutes. And that was in the afternoon while the sun was very strong and hitting the phone from the windshield. So the brightness was at 100%. I'm using cellular data. And at the same time, I was on a video call for 29 minutes with my family in a picture-in-picture -picture view. And the phone was connected to my car's stereo. So definitely, all of this happening will give the battery a big hit. And when you take a look at the other apps, you will see that I used YouTube for 1 hour and 7 minutes. My own wallpapers app for 38 minutes to test the newly uploaded wallpapers whatsapp business for 32 minutes google app for 19 minutes and some other apps as shown now on the screen and by the way i almost didn't use wi-fi because i left the home early around 2 p.m and since then my phone is on cellular data so i think the battery life is quite good as i mentioned the performance and battery are good enough for your daily driver but it's definitely not a perfect build and i came across some bugs that are worth mentioning the first one is related to the keyboard for example when i try to reply to this comment you will see here that the text box is hidden behind the keyboard and i don't see what i'm typing but once i hit the enter key it appears and it did happen to me in other apps but this is the most recent one the second issue i have is related to the status bar icons as you see here they are in black while everything else is in white when i turn on dark theme i don't face the same problem everything looks exactly the same but it only happens in light theme another problem related to the dark theme is sometimes apps flash a white screen even though your phone is set to dark theme it doesn't happen all the time but as you see here youtube did flash in white first before loading the dark theme and it happens maybe sometimes with the home tile it's not consistent but it happens and finally i came across some other random ui issues for example sometimes the lock screen effects and animations stop working all of a sudden and when i open the home tile it flashes in white first and it also happens in apps so if you want to install this build on your daily driver expect to see things like this every now and then and by this i covered everything i wanted to show you in this video so please let me know in the comments what's your experience with this build so far but for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.